This year's Defence Vehicle Dynamics event at the Millbrook Proving Ground in the UK was well supported, but one of the least dynamic that I've seen, with very few vehicles actually rumbling around the test track. Background of straightened defence spending in the UK and the predominance of reset and overhaul requirements rather than previous year's UOR spending sprees meant there was perhaps less of an imperative to wow customers with off-road mobility demonstrations. Nevertheless, notable exceptions included Navistar's Husky, as seen here, Man Truck, Supercats Jackal and a selection of vehicles from the street group. Relatively new to the military market, Street continues to expand its range at a dizzying rate. For example, this 4x4 Typhoon was displayed as a basic shell at IDEX in February, but has now been certified to Stanag 4569 Level 3, and a Level 4 vehicle is set to follow in 2014. The static display area hosted a range of interesting vehicles and systems to explore, including this collection of British Army AFVs in various trials and theatre entry and training configurations. Amongst those vehicles, this is the first view of one of the UK's initial batch of 20 BVS-10 armoured vehicles. It also emerged at DVD that the Army's lookalike Warthog, acquired from ST Kinetics with great fanfare for operations in Afghanistan a few years back, may not now be taken into core after all. One of the vehicles that is coming into core, however, is the Force Protection Europe, now General Dynamics, Foxhound. GD showed off a new version of Foxhound at the show, using the open body variant worked up as a scout vehicle with a Muse mobile electronic warfare system comprising an IED jammer and radio interception package, lofted above the vehicles on a telescopic mast as shown here. Other notable vehicles on display included one of the UK's 16 Navistar Huskies converted to the recovery role, as well as some novelties such as this HDT Storm casualty recovery vehicle, as selected for the US Guardian Angel requirement. Ricardo was displaying it at DVD in anticipation of a similar UK requirement that might emerge in 2016. However, perhaps one of the most surprising vehicles was this Land Rover set off to one side of the main display area on the Raytheon stand, showing off the company's laser-based Soteria mine detection and route proving package, which was classified until very recently. For more details on all of these stories and more, please visit the IHS Jane's Defence Equipment and Technology Intelligence Centre.